In the late 19th century, Cantor introduced that theory, and all of a sudden, it seemed possible to place mathematics on a firm logical foundation. And mathematicians wanted to use this foundation to derive pretty much all of mathematics. Now, an important part of mathematics is the ordered pair. And the defining property of an ordered pair is this. So consider an ordered pair a comma b and another ordered pair b comma a where a is not equal to b. Now these two ordered pairs are not equal because they have different corresponding elements. a is not the same as b and b is not equal to a as given by this condition. So these two ordered pairs are not equal and this is the defining property of an ordered pair. Now when mathematicians are trying to define ordered pairs using set theory, what they really wanted was this, prop this property. They wanted to define ordered pairs in such a manner that this property remained preserved. And a mathematician named Kuratowski did just that. So Kuratowski's definition, Kuratowski's definition is what most undergraduates learn today. And it's the definition that we use to define ordered pairs. So Kuratowski defined ordered pairs as follows. So the ordered pair A comma B can be defined like so. The ordered pair A comma B can be defined by this set. And we can check whether this definition is correct or not. So if this definition is correct, then this definition of an ordered pair should preserve the defining property, property of an ordered pair. And the defining property is what we just learned above. So P comma Q is not the same as Q comma P, given that Q is not the same as P. Q is not equal to P. So if this definition preserves this property, then this definition is a viable candidate for the definition of an ordered pair. Now we can check whether this definition definition is correct or not by writing p comma q according to this set. So p comma q can be written as p and then p comma q. Okay. Similarly, we can write q comma p like this as well so q comma p is equal to this set according to Kuratowski's definition of course and we can see that these two sets are not the same Yes, these two elements are equal to each other, but this element is not the same as this element, since Q is not equal to P. And since these two sets aren't the same, we can deduce from all of this that P comma Q is not equal to Q comma P. And this is the result that we wanted. And since Kuratowski's definition gives us this result, we can now confirm that this definition is correct. And so this is why we use Kuratowski's definition today. Now you should know that many other mathematicians gave their own definition of an ordered pair using set theory, but most of them were pretty awkward definitions. And Kuratowski's definition was the most elegant, which is why mathematicians use it today. I remember when I was learning about ordered pairs for the first time, I couldn't understand why we can't define ordered pairs like this. Like, what's the problem with this definition? And the thing is that we can define ordered pairs like this, uh, using this set, but it's not very useful because this set, because this definition does not yield this property, it does not preserve this property of an ordered pair. And we can prove that by substituting P and Q and Q uh, comma P in this definition. So according to this definition, we can write P comma Q like this and Q comma P would be this set. And we can see that these two sets 
both of these sets are the same which means that the ordered pairs p comma q and q comma p are equal to each other and we don't want this property this is the property that we want right here this is the property that we want so we can define ordered pairs like this according to this definition but it's not very useful to us because again this definition does not yield this property now as an exercise i want you guys to explain down in the comment section why we do not define ordered pairs to be this set what's the problem with this definition and another exercise that I, that i have for you guys is the is this so i want you guys to explain to me why we can define ordered pairs like this i want you guys to explain why this definition does in fact work and why this definition of an ordered pair is useful to us